Penny. Sheldon. Penny. Sheldon. Penny. Sheldon. Penny. Sheldon. Penny. Sheldon. Penny. Sheldon. Penny. Look, I need to get to the laser lab. You're just gonna have to find someone else to take you home. Oh, damn, I picked the wrong side. <laughs> oh, God, not Euclid Avenue! <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Hostetter. Where is he? Ball pit. <laughs> Thanks for not calling the cops. Oh, hey, it's no big deal. My sister's got a kid who's special. Yeah, well, he's extra special. <laughs> hey, Shelly. What you doing? Size ratio was all wrong. Couldn't visualize it. Needed bigger carbon atoms. Sure, sure. <laughs> How did you get into this place? Back door has a five-pin tumbler system, single-circuit alarm, child's play. <laughs> You can start sorting protons and neutrons while I build carbon atoms. No, I don't think so. We need to go home now. But I'm still working. If you don't come out of there, I'm going to have to drag you out. You can try, but you'll never catch me. For God's sake! Bazinga. 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 Come, come here. Bazinga. 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 So, Raj, I highly doubt there is any argument you can make, threat you might levy, rhetorical strategy, plea, invocation, supplication, or uh, vetomus that you can employ. <laughs> That would convince me to reconsider. <sighs> My Incredible Hulk hands signed by Stan Lee. I've admired these for years. So does that mean we can go with the goals again? Hulk agreed to second date with puny humans! <laughs> you can't wear the hands on the date. Hulk said! What the? The TV is gone. So are our laptops. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God! It's all right. They didn't take my comic books. Hey, Sheldon. Ah! Oh, my God, are you good? Good Lord, you're ruining everything. Oh, damn. Are you okay? Do I look okay? Don't bark at me, I fell too. No, you've been falling all night, you're used to it. <laughs> Sheldon, what the hell are you doing? Same thing I've been doing for three days, trying to figure out why electrons behave as if they have no mass when traveling through a graphene sheet.
With marbles? I needed something bigger than peas, now didn't I? <laughs> Sheldon, when was the last time you got any sleep? I don't know, two, three days, not important. I don't need sleep. I need answers. I need to determine where in this swamp of unbalanced formulas squatteth the toad of truth. <laughs> Toad of truth? Is that a physics thing? No, that's a crazy thing. <laughs> okay, Sheldon, what happens to our neuroreceptors when we don't get enough REM sleep? They lose their sensitivity to serotonin and norepinephrine. Which leads to... Impaired cognitive function. Right. So march in there, brush your teeth, and go to bed. But I don't want to go to bed. <laughs> I'm going to count to three. One. Oh, all right. <laughs> what are you doing? We're going to be late. I'm pacing nervously. You're jogging. This is how the flash paces. <laughs> Just chill out, Sheldon. Yeah, I'm not Sheldon, I'm the Flash. <laughs> and now I'm going to the Grand Canyon to scream in frustration. I'm back. I'm Batman. Oh, I hardly think so. The real Cape Crusader calls his crime-biting cohorts when he's running late. I had to walk. I couldn't get Raj on the back of my scooter. <laughs> I said this before and I'll say it again. Aquaman sucks. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. I forget the rest. All right, let's get this thing over with. I'm sorry, but in what universe is Wonder Woman blonde? Relax, no one's going to be looking at her hair. <laughs> I mean, oh. <laughs> Hold on, the costume came with a black wig. Where is it, babe? No, I'm not wearing it. It looks stupid. Come on, we're trying to win a contest here. Forget it. I'm not wearing the wig. Penny, there's no I in Justice League. <laughs> Look, I know our winter thermostat setting is 72 degrees, but I'm a little warm, so I'm going to turn it down. Working on a new plan to catch the Roadrunner? <laughs> the humorous implication being that I am Wiley Coyote? Yes. And this is a schematic for a bird trapping device that will ultimately backfire and cause me physical injury? Yes. And <laughs> uh, 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 What's the matter? I have pain radiating from my navel to my lower right abdomen. I'm nauseated and feverish. I believe I may have cholera. There's no cholera in Pasadena. Just like last summer when there was no malaria in Pasadena. Well, if it's not cholera, then based on a quick internet search, the other explanations in decreasing order of likelihood are Hirschsprung's disease, botulism, a 30-foot tapeworm, or accidental ingestion of chrysanthemum blossoms. 
When would you have accidentally eaten chrysanthemum blossoms? It's part of an unlikely scenario that involves sleepwalking in a 24-hour flower mart with a less-than-vigilant proprietor. <laughs> oh, Lord, my belly! Have I had your appendix out? I haven't. I've been meaning to, but who has the time? <laughs> uh, let's get you to the hospital. <sighs> so this is how it ends. <laughs> With cruel irony, just as I make the commitment to preserving my body, I am betrayed by my appendix, a vestigial organ. Do you know the original purpose of the appendix, Leonard? No. I do. And yet I'm doomed while you live on. <laughs> Funny how things worked out, isn't it? Oh, Lord, I think it's about to burst. <laughs> On the other hand, it might have been the Brussels sprouts. Hey. Oh, no. Robert Oppenheimer was lonely. So you decided to get the whole Manhattan Project? Yes. This is Enrico Fermi, Richard Feynman, Edward Teller, Otto Frisch. Vazzles. Vazzles? I was going to name him Hermann von Helmholtz, but he's so... Sassy. Okay, we need to talk. About what? Cats, Sheldon. You're clearly upset about Amy being gone and you're trying to replace her with a bunch of cats. Clowder. What? A group of cats is a clowder or a glaring. Okay, yeah, fine. That's the kind but... of thing you ought to know, now that we have one. Boy, I've seen him at his best, I've seen him at his worst. There's nothing he can do that'll surprise me. Hold on to that thought. Ben. Surprise. Mom, what an unexpected pleasure. My, my, that's a powerful smell. I'd like you to meet Oppenheimer, Frisch, Penofsky, Feynman, Wisecock. Yeah, I get it. You got a lot of cats and you gave them cute Jewish names. What are you doing here? Leonard called. He said that you were pining for a young lady. Oh, that's preposterous. I'm not pining over anyone. Oh, lamb chop. We can quibble what to call it, but I think we can both agree it's creepy. <laughs> I do not agree. Cats make wonderful companions. They don't argue or question my intellectual authority. And this little guy here, I think you'll find to be quite zazzy. <laughs> You should have called sooner. Shelly, dinner's ready. Coming. No cat.